day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have Reverend Rhino. You have... Uh, are you a reverend, too? Do you ever do it? No, just no? a choir boy. Okay, so choir boy cartoon here. And we're looking at La Trap Quadruple Trappistale. Yes. So La Trap was uh, once known as Koenig Hoiven. Uh, Koenig Hoiven. Uh, what is this? This is uh, a... L no, 10% alcohol by volume. Taste the silence. Mm. Discover the specialty of La Trap Ale with its pleasant... Uh, who even fucking cares? Um, could you chant that? Oh, I can do it. <laughs> Give me the lyrics. <laughs> <clears throat> Discover the specialty of La Trap with its pleasant full party taste <laughs> ingredients uh, water barley malt hops and yeast, yeast. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it I think maybe with some practice give me a haircut here I am the ordained one and you're the one that can chant oh I, that's not chanting I've gurgled my way through that okay so <laughs> whatever <laughs> Oh, it's oh, one it's, of the synthetic ones. On. You can't even get those. Out. I know they're, they're so greasy. Hang on, this is what the scarf's for. This is actually what the scarf's for. <laughs> you can get it out with the timey wimey. Yeah. No. Do you need a sonic screwdriver? No, sonic screwdriver. Manpower. Ah, boy. Got to have the power to be the oh. power. It's a pretty pubescent boy. Again. Look at it. Oh, he, he's already beat off a couple of times. <laughs> I know. That's it. A couple times in this day. It's a pent up monk. <laughs> that is a sin, boys and girls. That's a sin. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I, know, I know. I have the worst fucking cup today. It's, it's not any smaller than your other one. No, I know, but it's just, I can't. It doesn't. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. It looks a lot smaller, though. <laughs> Can you pass me the absinthe glass? Yeah. How's our Scottish man doing over there? Our Scottish Austrian. <laughs> Scottish. <No. laughs> He's not Scottish. I do have scotch in my blood, though. <laughs> He's, well, talking. Yeah, He's just, talking about the alcohol. This is just, just your drinking habits. That has nothing to do with <laughs> he went drinking. and he pulled a man child and hit my bar up. Look at that head. That's, That's crazy. Great head. That's great head. That's exactly what you want. It's thick head. Thick and lasting. You know what? Holy crap. This isn't nearly as cloudy as I thought it would be for a quad. No, it's a beautiful, a beautiful amber color. That yeah. like burnt orange almost. That's great. Bright white head. Whoa. Ooh. Hear that. That's Rice Krispies right there. <laughs> of the highest order, I think. Woo, woo. Cloves, woo. banana, and the Belgian candy sugar. Mm-hmm. Banana. Banana. Um, and a tiny bit of metal, which is good, just, just a little bit. I've got an empty glass. Let me try this. <laughs> You've got an empty glass. No, you don't. Or it's low. It's a, it's a, it is a Trappist. That's okay. I've got a bit of technique. Lots of yeast in there. <laughs> Lots of good. yeast. You'd get a yeast infection if you washed your vagina with this. Saying. Pygmy goats. <laughs> pygmy goats. Pygmy goats. Pygmy goats. Looks beautiful. It smells really fruity, eh? So somebody took some banana, rubbed it in a sugar cane, and made a beer out of it. Winning. <laughs> ah! It's and then you get a, use, I know, it's beautiful. And you get the clove at the end. But that mild clove, not that that dirty, dry. Basically, you're getting banana candies, as but, but, you but, would call banana, them. Banana, <laughs> banana candies. Banana candies, yeah. With uh, with clove. And that's pretty much so it. So, what's and the yeast they use? Like well, it's in Belgian Belgium. yeast. It's Belgian yeast. It well, yeah. well, most Trappists will have their own strain. Well, right? I would, I, and, yeah, uh, you're right. But so that's what makes it really fruity, right? That's what you're getting that banana flavor out of, and everything else. So, us Canadian folks can't get a hold of this yeast. Oh yeah. Sure we can. We yep. can. Mm. 
It's very First off, you this this should have it's bottle condition, so it should have some in the bottom. Mm. So you could harvest it with a yeast starter kit out of the bottle. Also, yeah. Or you could buy liquid uh, liquid yeast from a homebrew shop. So you can totally make the style beer here in Canada. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And if you're ordained like I am, you're technically uh, making a Trappist beer. Perfect. We have to trap a beer. Wait, how do you... Remember Isidore? Yeah. The Trap Isidore? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Love it. I know a trap door, but what's the Trap Isidore? <laughs> it's a door. It's a trap! <laughs> this is a beautiful beer. I'm real <laughs> It's a trap. So... That being said, uh, honestly, it's it's perfect example. It's great. It's everything you want. It's sweet. It's rich. What it's is awesome. it? It's a uh, it's a seven fifty, and it was seven dollars. Yeah. So price wise, you're looking at about the same price as a as well, slightly less price than two bottles of Rochefort Ten. Mm -hmm. I personally like Rochefort Ten more taste wise. Mm -hmm. It is much more complex, much more flavor. Sure. Yeah. But. Value wise, this is actually a good beer for the price. I believe good so. Sharing beer. Good and and it's, and it's it's a great. Uh, you get all the benefits of a big beer like this and a crazy beer, but you it doesn't it doesn't make you have to think. You can actually just get it right. And away. It's a it's follow awesome. over drunk type of beer because it's ten percent alcohol. Shit, yeah, which is awesome in my books. And <laughs> it uses synthetic corks, which pissed me off because you can't get them out. Yeah, they're a little greasy, but whatever. Yeah. It's beautiful. But you'll never have to worry about your beer corking. With the bottom of the cork rotting and ruining it. There's a tear in my beard. I, I knew you knew what I was talking about. Matter. The way you looked at me, I was. Oh no! Oh no! I, I thought you were going to go further with that. No, no. Okay, no. That's, yes, I agree. Keep There's a tear in my beer, and it doesn't matter because it fucking tastes good. <laughs> There's a tear in your beer because your hockey team sucks. <laughs> Are we coming from an Ottawa Senators fan? <laughs> We are. <laughs> I think I'm, we might have to stay in San Jose just to see the auto setters play in San Jose. Mm, maybe. <sighs> Out of 10, not my favorite quad, but a good quad, a well-made quad, a good price here in Ontario. I'm going to give it a 7. I was going to say, as far as going out and buying this and getting what you need out of it, it gets it gets a 7.75 for me because I think it's a great buy. Get it. It's awesome. I'm ready, Cartoon and Ryan. doesn't want to fight me. Trap. You know what I mean? Chad doesn't want to fight me. He's a big man, but I'll fucking stab him in the face with a screwdriver. It doesn't matter. I've, I've fought big men before. He also has bony little elbows, and those are scary. Oh, yeah. Bye. Oh, yeah. <laughs>